Imagine a future where planet Mars has been colonized by a thriving civilization comprising of humans and machines. What was once a desolate, barren wasteland populated by a relatively primitive Martian base, rudimentary in its design and scarce of creature comforts, has transformed over 50 years into a hyper-advanced, expansive metropolis complete with titanic skyscrapers, vast geodesic domes, high-speed transportation, and unrivaled sustainable power generation. This future may never have materialized if it were not for the foundations laid by the Tesla Optimus humanoid robots. In part one of this series, I want to delve deep into the step-by-step -step process of training the artificial intelligence and upgrading the technology. Please watch the video all the way through and share your thoughts at the end. It's dangerous. It's uncomfortable. It's a long journey. You might not come back alive, but it's a glorious adventure and it'll be an amazing experience. This is what Elon Musk has previously said about colonizing Mars and I have to disagree. Yes, of course, it will be a magnificent experience. However, it doesn't have to be a dangerous one, especially if we play our cards right. Throughout the 1960s, when NASA was preparing American astronauts for orbital and lunar exploration, they conducted a series of analog experiments to better understand how humans would survive within a closed loop system. This closed loop system would be typical of an environment outside Earth's near limitless resources, clean air, clean water, etc. The NASA Living Pod experiment involved four astronauts living within an airtight capsule for several months. Initially, the experiment worked flawlessly, however, would prematurely come to an end as the astronauts became unwell. Turns out the air filtration system became contaminated with fingernails and hair. Over the many decades since the 1960s, a wide variety of government organizations and private citizens have conducted similar experiments, the most famous of which were Biosphere 2 in 1987 and Project High Seas in 2018, which both ended in calamity. This is because humans introduced the most instability in these experiments. We were the critical error leading to their downfalls. If we simply cannot successfully complete these simulated experiments on Earth, what makes us think we can survive on the Moon or Mars for a prolonged duration? The most logical step is to remove the human element entirely and instead automate the entire mission. This is why the Tesla bot is a crucial component in colonizing Mars. We can use the same mission architecture as the NASA living pod, Biosphere 2, Project High Seas, and more recently, the NASA Chipea missions, and adapt them for use by robots. The Tesla bot will live and work within a 3D printed structure comprising of simulated Martian regolith. This will be incredibly similar to the human Chipea mission, which takes place in 2022. During the first few weeks of the experiment, the Tesla bots will carry out very simple tasks like moving objects and repairing simple equipment to familiarize the AI with the surroundings. As the experiment progresses, the tasks will become more complex and faulty equipment will be introduced. The bots will need to repair the equipment within a designated time frame in order to continue the simulation. Think of this as leveling up a character in a computer game. As well as working inside the habitat, the Tesla bots will need to venture outside to expand the base. Experiments emulating the surface of Mars with decreased visibility will really push the AI to the max, as Tesla's autopilot AI relies exclusively on computer vision. Some of the most inhospitable locations on Earth, from the burning salt landscape of Ethiopia's Danakil Depression, the extreme arid climate of the Atacama Desert, and the frigid icy winds of the Arctic tundra are like a tropical island paradise when compared to the surface of Mars. Mars is over 246 million kilometers away from the sun, and its atmospheric volume is less than 1% of Earth's. 
This combination of great distance from its parent star and low density atmosphere allows for the surface temperature to fluctuate between a rather warm 30 degrees C to minus 140 degrees C. If you haven't already frozen to death, then the radiation might be the final nail in the coffin. This is because unlike Earth, Mars is absent of a magnetosphere. The magnetosphere surrounding Earth protects us from ionizing cosmic radiation and prevents the erosion of our atmosphere. Anything on the Martian surface is subjected to 50 times the radiation dosage that it would be exposed to on Earth. If a standard Tesla bot were placed on the surface of Mars, its 40 electromechanical actuators, lithium ion batteries, onboard circuitry, and vision computers would freeze, rendering the machine useless. The Tesla bots will need to be outfitted with a temperature regulation system to ensure the lithium ion batteries are kept at 27 degrees C to optimize efficiency and some form of radiation shielding to protect the autopilot computer. Since 1997, with NASA's Pathfinder mission, five American rovers have been sent to Mars, with the most recent, the Perseverance rover, touching down in February 2021. Perseverance is fitted with a warm electronics box, or web, to protect the vital components and the circuitry is triple module redundant, meaning three copies of each circuit are used to control a single component. The Tesla bot could use a similar approach to the Perseverance rover with a backpack module containing extra equipment. However, you may be thinking extra contingencies are heavy and the added weight would require a more powerful robot, which is something Elon is trying to avoid for the sake of human safety. Thankfully, Mars has a reduced mass, therefore has a reduced gravitational pull. If you weigh 100 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh 38 kilograms on Mars. Tesla can add an additional 22 kilograms of extra protection without compromising performance. So we've made it this far. The Tesla bot has undergone rigorous training and acquired millions of hours of autopilot data each bot has received hardware upgrades to survive the surface of Mars, from training the AI to upgrading the components. The methodology behind the Tesla bot is very similar to Tesla vehicles we see on the roads today. Join me next time as we explore how SpaceX will launch humanity's most ambitious space mission and how the Tesla bots will begin to construct the city of the future on Mars.